Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be taking our very first look at the newest update that just came out inside of Clash Royale, where I have a ton of chests to open, I've got some quests to open, I've got the new emotes unlocked, and we're, of course, going to head into the newest challenge that just dropped. Obviously, you guys probably know most of the stuff that's come out with the update already. Uh, we've got the two new cards, we've got new emotes, a bunch of quality of life updates, a ton of new gold, which, by the way, if you check my gold right now, you can actually go to a cap of 5 million million gold and fortunately for me I actually didn't know the gold cap was going to be increased but I kept the triple elixir challenge gold just in case which means 162,000 gold right into my pocket after I almost didn't even you know get any of that because I, I was about to accept it before the update came out that's another 11,000 gold and check this out all of these cards that we get most of these are going to get converted into gold besides the new cards maybe if I get any new cards inside of this one we got some royal hogs and we got a ton of giant snowballs right there six barbarian barrels to cap that out for a really nice win now we will do this royal hog versus giant snowball challenge but first let's go and check out our quests i actually did get a legendary chest recently for my quest i am just blowing through all these rewards right now let's see if we get a magic archer right here which we will beautiful stuff guys this is going to plan so far and we're only one magic archer away from max i've been getting tons of magic archers in the shop which i'm really happy about Let's go and get our free daily gift right there. I donated four rare cards, so we're done with that. Stacking up some more quest points and uh, taking a look at our cards right now, guys. Why don't we just start upgrading this this uh, giant snowball? We, we can start upgrading this. Tournament standard is level nine, so that's really the goal. Uh, I don't foresee myself playing this on ladder anytime soon. Actually, commons are pretty easy to get. We got that one up to level seven, which is pretty solid. And then going down to our royal hogs, which, guys, by the way, I just want to call these things piglets. I don't know why. Piglets just seems like a better name to me. Royal Hogs just feels like too long. But the little piglets running down the lane, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think inside of the comment section below. But that's it. We got everything we needed. I do have my emotes, by the way. I swapped in all my goblin emotes. I'm still missing a couple of these right here. The flex, the kiss. The guy that this is fine. Have you guys seen that a couple of these emotes are actually memes? Um, I know that this one, you know, if you guys have seen the deal with it, sunglasses. And then you've got this guy with the fire behind him from that one this is fine meme. Anyways, if there's any other uh, memes that you guys can sort of spot inside of those emotes, let me know what you guys see. All right, let's do this. We're going to be hopping into the newest challenge right now. Obviously, if you guys haven't played this before, one person, I think, gets the Royal Hogs. The other person gets the Giant Snowball. Obviously, I'm going to want Fireball since he's got a... Since he has... Uh, what is it? Um, or since I have three Musketeers. Taking a look at Mirror or, or Freeze. I guess I'll do Freeze, but I think Mirror would have been pretty cool. And then our final card... I guess we'll throw down a Furnace, but I don't know. I feel pretty nasty about that Expo. That Expo could be a problem later into this game. We did get two tanks, though, and the Royal GG, which is the hardest possible counter in the game to the Expo, or at least my favorite counter to the Expo in the entire game. So let's just go ahead and throw a Furnace down right now and get to work. What do you guys think of the new card so far? Uh, obviously, I've had a chance to play it just a bit. Um, oh, wow. He's going to start off with Mirror Princesses in the back. Okay, buddy. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and throw a Giant Skeleton down to the bridge just to be fun. Um... But yeah, obviously I've had a chance to play with most of this stuff already with the developer build, but I'm excited to see what you guys think about the update that just came out. Uh, gonna get my fireball ready right now for these princesses. Those will go down in flames. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep stocking up pile and some damage. I do like both of the cards. They did get a little bit of a buff in the most recent update. I'm actually gonna play the battle ram right here to make sure that the rascal boy stays still. Uh, so my battle ram can run towards the tower. I don't think we're gonna make it though. So, ooh, that hunter's actually gonna explode one of those barbarians, then destroy the second barbarian. But overall, we'll still be fine. Hunter, not really going to do too much damage by itself. So I'm sort of just going to hang out. In fact, I'm going to let all of this go right here. I'm going to play my Furnace too. Oh, I didn't actually mean to get that uh, that hurt right there. I'm going to take a little bit of Princess damage, guys. But it's going to be fine. He's been spending so much Elixir that I feel solid about this. Um, that Princess, it feels like she's shooting faster than normal. Maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, that was a lot more damage than what I wanted. Let's get our Giant Skeleton down in the back. And wow, he's going to throw his Expo down right now, which means we have to use our Royal Giant just in time. He's going to actually use the Snowball, but I got my Royal Giant down in time, and this is about to be a disgusting push. Royal Giant, Giant Skeleton. Got to give him some emotes right here. He's going to mirror his Snowball, and oh man, I think that means a pretty bad time for him. Let's get our Fire Spirits going down in the very back. This is going to be completely brutal. Fire Spirits running in right there. We've got the Fireball for the Princess, and uh, this should be solid. All right, Fireball is down now. Giant Skeleton going to kill that. I wish I had something to uh, to go even... Or I wish I had a clone spell or something to try to do even more work right here. But it looks like Gandalf's going to give up on this battle right now. Free spell going to actually end up destroying that hunter as I was trying to freeze it, guys. That's going to be GG well played. And that's going to be a solid dub right there. Not bad. Not bad at all for our very first battle. Uh, actually, I didn't have giant... 
I didn't have Royal Hogs or the Giant Snowball inside of that one, so a little bit unfortunate. I thought actually you drafted one or the other, so I guess one person can get both of them but they are both inside of the challenge. Let's go ahead and pick up the giant snowball right now. See if we can make it work for us. I'm gonna take the mini P.E.K.K.A., although the ice golem is a beastly unit. I'll take the archers as well. Uh, and then, oh man. See, they did change the draft to where draft is more even now. I don't know if I believe in, uh, Actually, that was a terrible play because I already gave him fire spirits and baby dragon, which does splash damage against our little piglets. All right, well, we can try to use the split piglets right here. If you guys throw them at the bridge, you can end up doing so much work. I'm gonna play our archers in the back first though. I really like doing, like splitting the piglets up front and then playing a bunch of other split cards in front of it. This is gonna be a little bit scary though, guys, because I wanna go for something ridiculous, but I'm gonna go ahead and use our royal hog. Oh, this is a little bit questionable right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Uh, I gotta get our knight ready. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. We're gonna take so much damage. He's gonna get a decent amount of damage done on his side as well, but we're gonna take, I think, more than him. Maybe not, actually. The knight's gonna do a great job. Okay, we only lost by a little bit right there, and I wasn't feeling great about that push. I thought I had a little bit more elixir, but I didn't, and uh, he ended up breaking through. Tornado Zap, not a fun way to deal with Rascal's cannon card uh, by any means, but we'll go ahead and get a little bit more elixir from him playing defensively right there. Not terrible, uh, obviously. The little piglets did a great job on the right-hand lane. Still need to be a, little bit, be a little bit cautious right here, but since he did use Giant Snowball, guys, I'm gonna use Royal Hogs up front. He might play Rascals, though, uh, which would be solid. Instead, he has the Mega Knight. Oh, no, that's like the hardest counter in the game, and he's gonna throw down the Danks because he knows he's in a really good spot. Okay, we'll have to use our Mini P.E.K.K.A. now, but guys, this is this is so ugly. I'm even gonna zap to get another Mini P.E.K.K.A. hit, but there's just no possible way we can deal with this right now. I'm gonna use our Tornado to kill uh, and drag the Mega Knight off the tower. It's gonna kill the Rascal Girls, too. Uh, this Rascal Boy, though, still way too healthy. He's got the free spell, too, guys, and I don't think this game's looking too good for us. We've taken way too much damage already. A thousand HP left on his tower, and he has so many ways to kill our Rascals, so... Uh, this is gonna be tough. Uh, no, not our rascals, our, our royal hogs. But man, that's our only win condition, which really, really stinks. And uh, we're gonna just have to find a way to make this happen, I guess. I've got my knight ready, which can tank for this. Don't wanna waste my giant snowball when the knight will do a fine job right there. And we can kill that ice golem. Taking a look at the rest of this though, I guess I'll go for a royal hog push and split this up with the mini P.E.K.K.A. going down this lane. I'm gonna throw our giant snowball down as well to try to do something, but guys, we just can't do anything against this Mega Knight. This Mega Knight eats our little hog piglets for lunch. And oh man, I'll have to play my barbarians here. I'm gonna use my knight a little bit farther up right now to try to do something. I've got the tornado ready too, which actually is gonna do a fine job. Um, Archer's getting ready, but the Mega Knight's gonna be a beast. Giant Snowball going down the back is gonna end up stopping the damage, but I just don't think there's any way we can break through this push, guys. Unless he just messes up and goes for a Mega Knight um, offensively. Okay, well there's the Mega Knight offensively we talked about. I'm gonna use our Barbarians, then I'm gonna use our Royal Hog over here. This might be what he need. He uses the Rocket on offense, guys. This is gonna be our way back into the game. Now, I still don't feel great about this. What I would really like to do is end up cycling. Oh, those fire spirits actually going to do brutal damage. Got to zap right here. Got to let those piglets destroy the tower. Come on, a little bit more damage from the piglet. GG, well played. Oh, I should have thrown some prediction spells towards those piglets on the right-hand lane. He almost threw the game, but unfortunately, due to that Mega Knight just beating us up from minute one, we're going to take the L in only battle number two. Not, uh, not great. All right, well, we have the same choice again. Cannon Cart or the Royal Hogs. I'm going to pick them just because I want them to work. Okay, not good because we would have much rather had the cannon cart to play with one of these two. I'll use the golem right here and I'll use the bats as well because the bats would do work. Rage spell or heal? Hmm. I think the heal spell will be fun. Heal spell did get buffed in the most recent set of balancing changes to where it can cover way more radius than it used to. But golem night witch, not a bad start to the game. Now, if he goes royal giant opposite lane, I'm going to lose a lot right here. So I, I got to sort of wait for him to make the first move. I'm gonna just chill, and that's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna let the Night Witch go down right now. I've got the Cannon 2 right here. This Cannon should do a fine job. Looks like, ooh, his Magic Archer is gonna tickle our tower, though, which is not what we wanted. That Magic Archer just unloading on us. Guys, this is a little ugly. Well, he did spend a lot of Elixir right there. He spent 10, and we only spent 7. So I can afford a Golem in the back to see if we can make a push happen. Ah, yeah, the magic, if the Magic Archer didn't lock onto our tower, we would have been in a much better spot. But how do I follow up this Golem push? I just realized all we have is three Musketeers. I guess we can use the little piglets in a bit. And actually, he's going to let that lock on right there, which is phenomenal for us. Um, we're going to test what type of uh, spells he has, guys. I'm going to use our three Musketeers right now. 
Cannon cards going in. Looks like we're going to go ahead and start shooting down some of this stuff. I can actually follow up with our... Um, with our piglets if we need to, but instead, I'm gonna let these all run in, guys. And I'm actually gonna heal these golemites up a little bit, but I'm gonna heal the three musketeers the most. Oh man, that's so much damage. The Electro Wizard's not gonna be able to do enough. The new and improved heal spell making it die. I was gonna say making it rain, but heals can't really rain. All right, well, heal spell making plays right there to take tower number one. Magic Archer gonna find the same exact death. And you know what? We're gonna go for Royal Hogs. He doesn't have his giant snowball on cycle, so we're just gonna go ahead and let these guys rain damage on this left-hand side. And Art, Jorgen is in a, he's in a big load of trouble. Now the piglets, they do take a while to do a lot of damage, to be honest. Uh, we still got it down to 526, but I feel like the, the bath put in a lot of work right there. I'm gonna get ready with our cannon for the Royal Giant, but it looks like he's just gonna help me out with the Rage Spell right here. Giant Snowball gonna do a nice job to displace some of our units, but still, he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess in double elixir, we can go ahead and throw down a golem in the very center, but this should be an easy three crown barring anything crazy. And I'm just going to throw a golem down in the very back right now. Even if he takes our right hand side, we should be able to clean him up with a three crown. Easy peasy. I've got our cannon ready in a moment to play now. Cannon should do a nice job. Fireball going to go down two to do some work here. Should be able to save this side with our bats. Although these barbarians might be a little bit of an issue. I'm going to use our night witch here. And let's see, is he going to overcommit for a tower, or is he going to try to play some defense? Now, three musketeers has to be our next play right here. So I'm going to get our three muskies ready in the very center. This golem trying its best to fight through all the madness that he's put down. He did just play his only, it feels like, AoE unit, which is the uh, which is the Electro Wizard, which means we can just go ahead and splat down a heal. Heal's going to go ahead and make our way through that log right there. Musketeers, some targeting the Royal Giant, some targeting the King Tower. That's going to be GG well played for a very solid dub. All right, two and one so far inside of this challenge. The last matchup wasn't so favorable for us, and I feel like we played this one pretty well. Golem, three Musketeers, very expensive deck to try to play, especially because I played it the first time in Double Elixir. Uh, but check it out, we're gonna get some more gold. It feels so good to be able to get gold and not sit at one million. Then again, I don't know what you're gonna do at five million gold, that's just so much gold, it's absurd. Um, but still, we'll see. Maybe Supercell will release something that costs five million gold and we can re reset ourselves back down to zero. Now, Archer's gonna come out. Maybe I should have taken Wizard, actually. I'm going to get our Mega Minion down. Actually, no. Because if I took if I took Wizard, he would have Lightning our Wizard in our tower. Now, this is the true test. Which Bacon do we choose right here? I'm going to take the Hog Rider because he has Wizard Bomber, which are counters to our little piglets right there. So let's go ahead and take the Hog Rider and let the Hog Rider do work. Uh, he can Lightning our Collector, which is a little bit annoying, but it still, still should be okay. And uh, let's just see if we can bring it out of him. I'm going to start with the Collector. And if he doesn't have Lightning in his starting hand... But we'll see. All right, he actually has to start with the Rascals. Maybe he's cycling to his Lightning. We'll find out in just a moment. It looks like that's going to go ahead and run on in. Okay, he's just going to go ahead and let this roll right here. And you know what that means. I can just go ahead and split my Archers, get ready with my Valkyrie to play right behind all of his units. Valkyrie going to go down now, splash and kill the Rascal Girl. And just like that, we've got a massive Elixir lead to start off this game. You can't ask for a better start. Being able to put a massive amount of elixir on the board for yourself is uh, definitely what you want to do. Let's go ahead and go hard in the paint on this side. I've got so many things coming in, but he actually has his uh, his little piglets right here, which we're going to have to destroy with our fireball. I don't think we're going to reach that bomber with the fireball. Oh, we did. That's actually clutch that we did that. His tower is down to 129 HP, guys. And just like that, we're in control of this game. Now, I don't I don't really want to Valkyrie the wizard, but I'm going to because this does provide me a little bit of a counter push and he's going to go for the Royal GG from the heavens. Oh my goodness gracious. That means we have to play our mini P.E.K.K.A. to lock right on there. Valkyrie's going to go ahead and lock onto the tower as well. This tower is going to go all the way down to zero. And meanwhile, the Royal Giant is dead. Okay. Very poor hog rider from me. I should have realized that he was going to go, uh, he was going to go rascals right there. We did get a, a little bit of a elixir out of him with that giant snowball that was unnecessary, but still we're looking really, really good for this game, guys. I'm going to play our archers in the back to kill the rascal boy and then kill the uh, rascal girls. And we should be fine. I think his biggest mistake is if he had lightning in hand, then he should have lightning our collector. The fact that he didn't, even when he cycled, meant that he either had a really bad hand or he didn't know uh, what he wanted to do right there. I'm going to go ahead and play our fireball, which doesn't feel the best against these little piglets right here, but it's going to be fine. Looks like Fireball negates almost all damage, and I think if you play it right, you can actually get all the damage taken away. Let's do our Elixir Collector in the back. Sort of let him take this side if he wants to. Um, I still have our Mini P.E.K.K.A., which we might play. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and play Mini P.E.K.K.A. Bats, which should do a really nice job against this push. He might only get one hit against this tower if he doesn't do anything to respond. Ooh, so much damage right there is looking good. I've got our Mega Minion. This guy just re refuses to play the Lightning Spell, which, I mean, I respect it. You know, he might play it right now, actually. He still has not played it. The Valkyrie going to steamroll on in. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do mini pack a hog rider now. The bacon is running across the map like crazy. The bomber going in. Giant snowball will actually end up doing work uh, trying to hold off right here, but with my fireball going down, the bat's running forward, guys. That's gonna be GG. I haven't been throwing the emotes around. I, I, sh I keep forgetting to throw the emotes, guys. The new and improved emotes. Ooh, Archer's going down in a bad spot. But uh, yeah, the new emotes are absolutely hilarious. Valkyrie going in. The, this one is so BM, the tongue out. It's ridiculous. I like this one a lot. I like the, uh, yeah, definitely the sunglasses. Decides not to lightning spell my uh, my tower, so I'm gonna close my eyes to that one. GG well played to Norbit, and guys, three and one on the day. Pretty solid inside of this challenge. So many rewards that we got for winning these battles, or uh, actually not these battles, but the battles previously that we somehow, some way saved. Let's go and get our crown chest to see if we can get anything else right here. We're gonna get some skeleton barrels, giant snowballs, which I don't think we have enough with the giant snowball quite yet. So we're just 14 away. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. I'm really loving this update, guys. It came out within two months. We had new cards, new emotes better gold, other quality of life changes that I love. And this is just a really great update. You know, if Supercell could do one of these updates every two months, Clash Royale, you know, could be where it was in the past and maybe even go past that going forward to the future. So this update keeps me really excited. I I'm stoked for this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to grind away with some more piglets and giant snowballs. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.